Oh, hello again, welcome to the VK6CS uh, Amateur Radio Channel. Um, it just occurred to me that uh, um, yesterday when I showed you the SPC ATU and the T-Match ATU and um, the bandwidth of the tunes and this, that and the other, and I drew that, um, I, I drew the circuit diagrams of the two tuners out so you could see what the difference is between the two tuners. Um, and uh, it occurred to me afterwards that um, whilst I've got the big tuner out and open, so I don't, uh, I don't get it out very often, and uh, I don't, don't, don't really use this one, and um, I don't usually take the top of it. But um, uh, whilst it's out of the cupboard, and whilst it doesn't have its top on it, I'll just show you um, that. Uh, uh, that capacitor arrangement, the SPC. Remember, series parallel capacitance, series and parallel, and it's this parallel capacitor that, that make that, that differentiates it between um, uh, itself and the T-match. Now, these two capacitors, as I said yesterday, are on one shaft. Okay, so when you turn the knob, both of these capacitors activate. And I thought whilst the tuner was out and it had the top off, I'd show you what that looks like in a real tuner. Uh, just to make that uh, to make it pretty obvious. Okay, so this is an SPC tuner. Uh, actually let's do this a slightly different way. Okay, right, let's go from there. So this capacitor here. is this capacitor here, it's the front half of this one unit here, so that's one capacitor, that's that one. And this capacitor here is this capacitor here. So that's the, uh, that's the two capacitors, that's the two capacitors on one shaft. And when I turn the when I turn the knob on the front, you can just see the uh, there's an insulating uh, uh, link in there because you get quite a high voltage on that shaft, and you wouldn't want that on the other side of that plastic knob when you're uh, when you're turning it. Uh, if you've got grub screws going through the knob onto the shaft under those circumstances, it might even arc onto your fingers. <laughs> so uh, you really wouldn't be interested in that. So when I turn that knob, you can see that both of the capacitors are operating. See, these are the veins for these are the veins for the parallel capacitor. And that's the veins for the series capacitor. So you can see that activating like that. So that's both of these capacitors on one shaft, and one knob on the end. Is these two capacitors here gained They're on the, on one shaft. Okay. So that's it. I just thought I'd uh, I just thought I'd clear that up because um, it can be a little bit confusing. That if you if you're new to radio, or you're new to uh, you're new to ham radio, and you see that drawing, you think, oh, that looks that looks a bit strange. Um, that's what it actually looks like um, when it's um, in in a real ATU. All right. Well, that's it. Um, it's a shame, actually. I didn't think of putting this this uh, sort of three three or four minutes on the uh, on the video yesterday, but uh, there we go. It's just one of those things. So I'll um, put this on as a separate little video. Hope you enjoyed it, or found it informative, or both. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.